So chances are, if we met at VidCon, or if I know you in real life, I've probably tried to give you one of these stickers. See, most people love them, but I kept getting one question. What's that thing you're holding? The short answer is, it's a tiny butane torch. It's useful for heating metal, burning chips, or making creme brulee. But the long answer is a lot more interesting. Last semester I took an art class, and our first project was to take an everyday object, something of importance to us, and to make it really big. So I picked this little butane torch because it sums up a lot of what I do. Plus, like, fire is cool. So I decided to make this thing, and it took hours. The real issue was that I wanted it to look as exact as possible, down to the ridges on the body. To do that, I had to separate a layer from the cardboard. As you might imagine, peeling back these layers was extremely tedious. Not only did it take a long time, but it was very precise. Too slow or too fast, and the beautiful ridges on the cardboard will slush out and rip. Then, after separating the layers, they are all soaked. So to use them, they had to be blow dried. It was quite a process. I probably spent eight plus hours on these pieces alone. After the ridges, I had to make supports for the long shaft to make sure it stayed stiff. I cut out quarter circle wedges and attached them with hot glue. After the wedges were in place, then I could stick on the sides. Now at this point, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, doesn't that kind of look like a uh, um, uh, grain silo? And yeah, it kind of does. The next thing was the trigger. While it wasn't too difficult, I wanted all of the pieces to move, and even just to make everything fit together, I needed to be pretty precise. It was definitely challenging, but ultimately it's just boxes. So it was pretty straightforward to do. Honestly, the trickiest part was just keeping track of all these little cardboard pieces. The most unexpectedly challenging part of this project was the dome on top. I didn't think about this going in, but it's really challenging to make a flat thing spherical. And as per the project, I could only use cardboard. It took me several tests to figure out an effective way to do it, and even the method that I used isn't perfect. In total, there were at least 50, probably more, very, very thin triangles of cardboard that I had to cut, bend, glue, and somehow attach to this ridiculous thing. And they had to be really precise, because otherwise I would have wound up with gaps in my dome. But in the end, I think it was worth it. It's the simplest way to make a good dome out of such a stiff material, and I think it worked well enough. After finishing the dome pieces, the torch was pretty much done. I added a few finishing touches, but the absolute hardest part of this project comes at the end, because I had to chop it up. Honestly, it was tough to swallow. I don't have footage of actually cutting it, since I couldn't film in class, but here's the finished project. I think it actually turned out really cool, but unfortunately, it meant I couldn't make it shoot real flames. It's funny, the last step makes this a much worse torch, but a much better sculpture. To me, it kinda looks like a post-apocalyptic alien spaceship, with the head sinking into the rest of the body as it decays. It's really cool, and if I hadn't taken the class, I probably never would've done it. So I guess that's why you take art classes. Anyway, there you go. That's the cardboard torch. Take it as what you will, but I hope this clears up what the stickers and the profile picture and everything else are. I thought it was a super cool project, it's just not an amazing video, because it's basically just one really long build montage. But if you're new here and you like this build, check out some of the others, and let me know what you think. If you've been around for a little while, I'm sorry this video was late, I was at VidCon all last week, and then I got back and I was sick, and I'm actually in this hotel right now because I'm halfway through moving apartments. There's a lot going on, but thanks for sticking with me. Anyway, thanks for sticking around and watching. Wise guys, see you next week.